Greetings everyone, Ishamrad here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Thursday. It's night time. Ignore the fact that there is light coming through my window normally because um, this obviously video is going up at 7pm because I, for some reason I decided that if I'm going to do horror games or anything that is um, rated above a 12, it, it seems to be that's my logic. I upload it at 7pm. I don't know why. It's a self-imposed watershed, I suppose. Um, it's not quite after dark, so, you know, my language will remain as it has been, which, as far as I'm aware, and as far as I can remember, um, tends to be relatively clean. <laughs> Someone will correct me on that at some point, I'm sure. Someone will be like, how dare you say that? <laughs> you terrible human being. But, getting sidetracked, because today we're going to be playing a, well, I assume it's a horror game. Maybe it isn't, maybe it is. The game is called Can a Ghost, uh, Can a Cute Ghost Story Be Spooky? <laughs> no, this game does contain flashing lights, so obviously those who are sensitive to those, you have been warned, which is a terrible way of showing the fact that I actually care, and that I'm actually giving you a legitimate warning of uh, uh, flashing lights, which, you know, if you are affected by those, then perhaps this is not the best video for you to be watching. Either, either or, um, I think we should dive into what this is about. So, in a quiet cemetery, there is a haunted house. No, the house haunted by a ghost called Jimmy. Jimmy likes to eat pizza and be happy all the time. Ooh, happy ghost, that, that just <laughs> mm, makes me feel a bit awkward. But one night something terrible happened. His favourite hat was stolen. Jimmy is now sad. Help him get his hat back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's, um, shall we dive into, can a cute ghost story be spooky? Just, yeah, that's all fine. So, boom. Ah, oh. yeah. Warning, this game contains flashing lights. Any reference to actual persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Eddie. He always liked cat. Oh my god, just that that. This is a bop, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> and I'm just wondering because obviously it's panning around, and I'm hoping to be other like things to see. Though, you know what? Oh, do I dare to do it? At this point, we're at the half. No, you're based on a true. Hi, kids. Ready to be scared? <gasps> I don't want to lie. It will be a very scary story. If you get scared easily, you are free to leave. You've been warned. Are you still here? So, do you want to hear the story? Yes, I do. Okay. Don't complain with me if you cry. I warned you. Oh, no. Well. In a dark cemetery full of scary ghosts, there's an old house haunted by a specter called Jimmy. Jimmy is only 374 years old. He's basically just a little kid like you. And in this house that our story begins. Like every night, Jimmy takes his favorite hat in front of the mirror before leaving the house. No one can understand how special that hat is to Jimmy. It was given to him by his mother for his 276th birthday. If only someone tried to steal it, ha ha ha, Jimmy would probably go crazy. Take the hat, okay. Oh. Yeah, I have a hat. Uh, leave the house? Oh. This is a dark and spooky night, but Jimmy doesn't care. He is always happy. Usually Jimmy greets the family before going to the town. He is such a thoughtful guy. Ricky, he's in the alphabet. Good for Ricky. Cemetery for rich ghosts only. Oliver, he spent all his money on market shares. He lost everything, but not stonks. Dylan, he wanted to save money. Oh, oh Dylan. Dylan? Is that his name? Dylan, yeah. Connor, he accidentally... Oh no! One dollar to charity? Gave your business, business, and other business. Thomas, he spent millions of dollars on a private check. Explore. 
Apparently, I found my family. Historic cemetery. Commemorative with Jabobolus for the coolest dudes of the past. David. He tasted a strange drink in, in the banquet during your oh. Anderson, he lived a quiet life until he was arrested by the police for fraudulent fraudulent bankruptcy. Hmm. Like, he believed that people's decision making power was a good thing. Betrayed by his own people. <laughs> Benny. He was never good at playing the guitar. We want to rest in peace. Private, so this must be Bob. He didn't believe him. Hello did. family, how are you today? Come on, guys. Seems to be in a mortuary. Answer me, please. Okay, I'll play some music. Death is too long to be bored. I hope you like this music. It will last approximately 20 hours. Jimmy, stop this music now! Ah. Sorry, but this music cannot be stopped. Now I'm going to town. Bye. Jimmy, come here! You. Wow, that's why I love Jimmy. He is so innocent and naive. Luckily, I applied some family-friendly filters to this story. <laughs> we certainly don't want to see Jimmy cry. After two hours, Jimmy has finally arrived. And now he's so hungry. Uh. Luckily, he knows an excellent Italian restaurant in town. It's a perfect night to eat pizza. Oh, f***. Another balloon is popped. Hey, dude, don't be mad. Do you want to get a pizza with me? I'll pay for it. Really? Thanks, buddy. Anyway... I'm Dave, it's nice to meet you. I'm Jimmy, nice to meet you too. Follow me to the restaurant. Now Jimmy and his new friend are ready to have a good night of fun. Ooh. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Oh, hi. Sure. Ooh. I mean, I'm I'm looking at Kaya. Looks like a pretty decent menu. Oh, look. Jimmy, nice to see you again. Is the guy next to you your new friend? Oh, we best His name is Dave. He likes to eat pizza like me. Well, Dave, you are in the right place. I make the best Italian pizzas in town. Now take a seat, so I'll take your orders. Thanks. You seem like a very nice person, Mario. Jimmy, aren't you forgetting something? Um, yeah, yeah. I have to wash my hands before eating. You know, hygiene first. Good boy, Jimmy. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting looking pizza. Okay, guys. Which pizza do you want to order? Oh, um... Let's have the four Good season. choice, Jimmy. And you, Dave, what do you want to order? I would like to taste the most traditional pizza in Italy, the pineapple pizza. Pineapple pizza is a traditional Italian pizza? <laughs> Jimmy, you didn't tell me your new friend was so funny. I'm not joking, I'm serious. Ah. Jimmy, how many times have I told you not to let these pizza criminals into my restaurant? <laughs> Sorry, Mario. I thought Dave was a normal ghost. Guess I was wrong. Now, can I have my pizza? Of course. You always remain my favorite little customer. <laughs> Mario's pizza is always good. Yes, it's true. But to be honest, Mario seems strange these nights. Why is he a strange narrator? Mario seems more angry lately. I think something is going on. Yeah, maybe you're right. But it doesn't really matter now. I want to go to sleep. I'm tired. Okay, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't know what's going on, and I love it. I'm, I'm loving every moment of this. And the music. Oh, the music's so good. Shall we go see our family? If the music's still playing and the ghosts are angry. <laughs> it is. But nobody seems angry, so that's good. Okay. Put my hat down. Me! Made by Jimmy. Oh. Enjoy the party, Jimmy. Oh, there's a... Oh. Okay, what's going on here? My hat! Oh no! 
This hole stole my hat. Now the party's ruined. Oh, someone's knocking on the door. Well, maybe it's my friend Dave. I mean, to be honest, I... Oh! <laughs> hey! Oh my god! Yeah, confetti! <laughs> Oh. Jimmy, Ooh. Jimmy, my balloons were stolen. I'm very worried. Be calm. In my party, there are many balloons. Follow me. Thanks, friend. I knew I could trust you. Okay, keep my. Mm. Oh. What happened here? The party's gone? I'm sorry, Dave. There are no more balloons now. Dave? What? what? D Dave, wh where are you? Where is Dave? Take a question. Let's check. Oh! Uh, flashing lights. A strange dream. Luckily, it's all fake. <gasps> Nobody stole my. Oh, f no. Someone stole my favorite hat, like in my dream. The thief must have made a hole in the wall to get into my house. Henrietta, are you there? Can you hear me? What should I do now? Henrietta? Now this is weird. Last night he told me he had to tell me something important today. And now he's gone. No! Oh, it's Dave. Better open the door. Jimmy! Jimmy! My balloon- Yeah, I know. Your balloons have been stolen and you're very worried. What? How did you know that? Are you the thief? It's not me. I just had a premonitory dream. Tonight, even my favorite hat was stolen. Before knocking on your door, I saw someone enter the ancient abandoned crypt. Maybe it's the thief! <gasps> really? Let's go, friend. We must take back what is ours. Well, before I do that... <laughs> Still playing. Oh dear. Uh, that's why it wasn't the ancient abandoned crypt. Oh, Jimmy, stop! I, I can't go with you. There's a spider. Sorry, dude. Don't you want to get your balloons back? Yeah, I want them back. I'm just afraid of abandoned places. You will not be alone. You'll be with me. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but I'm staying here. Ah, uh, you're just a wimp. I don't need you. I'll go in there alone. Hey, spider. Oh, can I go? Oh. That's okay. I don't need Dave. I can find my hat oh. by myself. Oh, no. Suddenly, you know, everything about this has just gotten like, okay, that's a dead end. Oh, the music as well. You know, yeah, suddenly I'm just like super on edge. <laughs> like, I thought I was expecting from this, but. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of stairs in this script. Thanks, Jimmy. Oh. What is this place? I've never been here before. Okay. It's just... Oh. Ah, no. Okay, so there's a specific route I need to take. Let's go this way. This one can up. Oh. No! <laughs> yeah, I should have guessed this is gonna be something like. I'm gonna guess this one's gonna fall as well. Oh no, maybe not. Oh! That's a ghost here. Ha! The thief! Now that he's not looking at me, I better find a weapon to hit him. What? Very dark area, do not enter. Ah! Ooh, this piece of wood could come in handy. <laughs> oh, this hurts! Who are you? I'm Jimmy, and I'm here to get my hat back. You understand that, thief? I'm not a thief! Wait, what? So what are you doing here then? I'm the famous Professor William. I'm from England. 
Here to study these ancient inscriptions. <laughs> what? They look like they're drawn by five-year-old kids. You're just a troglodyte. You don't understand the importance of history. It all began 15 centuries ago. Oh, oh God. Was governor and uh, I don't have time for that now. I really have to find my hat. Okay, if it helps. I saw a dude with a chef's hat a while ago. He was holding a red hat in his hand. My hat is red, and the dude over there with the chef's hat is Mario. So where did it go? I, I really need to know. He entered the door near me. Thanks, Professor. You're pretty helpful, actually. Uh, where do you think you're going? You have to do one thing. Did you think hitting me with a piece of wood had no consequences? Yes. Uh, okay, what, what, what do you want me to do? You have to bring me an ancient map. It's located in a very dangerous area of the crypt. Some say they have seen strange Ooh. ghosts in this area. But don't worry, this is just a story made up to scare the kids. Moreover, it's very dark there. Luckily, I'm also an inventor. I created special glasses to see better in the dark. Do you want them? Yes. I'm glad someone tries my inventions. I'm sure these glasses will be very useful mm. for you. Now I'm very concerned. <laughs> Wow, these glasses are very useful. Oh. Oh, what the heck is that? I like how I can see my body. Low battery? What? Quick, 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 quick. Man, these glasses are useless. Battery ran out immediately. Oh no, I don't. There is an arrow on the floor. Maybe if I follow it, I'll find something. Oh, oh go up this way. The map. I'm oh. gonna take it and get out of this dark place. Oh, how am I gonna get out of here? Oh, everything about this sucks. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna be another jump scare, probably. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> okay. Ah, no! Ah. Oh, it's just gonna be annoying, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> right. Oh. It has to be like. There has to be some sort of methodology here that I'm sort of not really... Whoop. Go around... Oh... I wish I could see where I was going! Oh my word! Oh! Whoa! I found the map! Excellent! Was it difficult to find? Not so much. Mostly, it was so very dark in that place. Luckily, you had my special glasses. Was it useful? No. Honestly, your glasses suck. The battery literally ran out in like 10 seconds. You should like get a real job. Uh, Ow. sorry, but I have to find my hat. I've wasted way too much time with you. Oh, I feel awful. <laughs> I feel bad, just like, 
You didn't have time to get a real ooh. My hat. Congratulations, Jimmy. You did it. Oh. What? Yeah, Jimmy, congratulations. Uh, can someone explain to me what's happening? We stole your hat just to create an adventure oh. for you. We only did it because today is your birthday. Guys, my birthday's not today. Also, someone has to give me some money to repair that wall of my house. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy, look behind you. A flying unicorn. Where is it? Uh, oh. Guys, where are you? Come back. Like, I really want that money. Well... This is the end of our story. I hope the story wasn't too scary for you. Now Jimmy will have to pay for the damage with his own money. But in the end, he found his favorite hat. And this hat, it's me. Yeah, kids. I'm a talking hat and narrator of this story. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh. Spanish or Italian? Uh. Now, I do remember that coming up on the wall, didn't it? Um. Uh, but yeah, that was um, that was can a cute ghost story be spooky? And as, as they kind of said, probably not. I mean, something like that, you know, some nice little jump scares here and there. And um, I think it it captured a very fun tone. I quite enjoyed that. That was that was a lot of fun. Not exactly the spookiest thing I've played, but then again, it wasn't designed to be spooky. The the scares were more sort of um, how how would I describe it? I don't know. Uh, the, 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 the scares were more just to sort of uh, parody the style of game you're playing. But, um, yeah, I mean, some, some of those kind of got me because you don't, the thing is, you're not expecting some of them, particularly because the first, the, the first act of the game, you know, everything is just sort of so colourful and so bright. And then you get to that dream sequence, you're like, hmm. And even the crypt, um, you know, it's it's just that sh that shift in atmosphere really does. You know, it it creates the perfect kind of horror atmosphere pretty quickly, actually. <clears throat> but anyway, if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see similar content, then please, you know, leave a like, um, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, uh, go down to the comments and tell me a spooky ghost story. It doesn't have to be cute; it can be a proper good ghost story or just you know. Tell me about times you've seen ghosts. Were they cute? I hope they were. Hmm, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> but um, there'll be a link in the description below for this game, as well as um, as well as a link to my coffee account. So if you would like to support me, there's a means for you to donate. Donations um, at the moment are going towards a project that I'm working on. Obviously, if you don't have to there's no obligation for you to do so i make these fun so you know um so yeah that's all there is to that really but with all that said then i hope you've had a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>